Hi, welcome to my studio. Today we're looking at the difference between metal and plastic pickup covers on an Epiphone Wildcat. Is there any difference in tone? How do you go about installing the plastic pickup covers? That's what we're doing today. So first off, we've got a sound comparison and then after that I'm going to do an installation demonstration with some explanation. So as you can hear from that sound comparison, there isn't actually the biggest difference. I mean, it is subtle. It's not going to give a giant boost to your tone like some of us want from our Wildcats. It's not going to make up for the lousy wiring. Now, that said, this is an old Wildcat. This one is from 2001, and it just sounds better than the newer ones. So, all right, so I'm just getting this prepped. I'm putting uh, a, a slide underneath the strings to hold them up so that it gives me enough space to get the pickups out from underneath. Just double checking to make sure that the size is correct here. And uh, I guess the first step here is you've got to desolder the pickups from the pickup cover. This is something that you're going to have to have a good tool for. You're just measuring to make sure that the holes are the correct width there. I've heard of examples of people trying to put in different dog-eared P90 pickups and they just don't fit correctly. So I was very happy to see that these fit. So I tried uh, the suction device that didn't do anything. I tried using the, the copper braid and that worked a little bit, but then I just uh, ended up, well, I ended up soldering it to the, <laughs> to the pickup and then I have to keep pulling it off. You'll see that that happened many times. I used a heat gun. Now you can see in there is is wax. And so now I wax potted these pickups myself to prevent squeal. And as I went about doing this, I ended up melting some of that wax, but it wasn't enough to 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 mess them up. But as you can see this this weak soldering iron that I have just isn't strong enough. It isn't up to the task. So if you're going to do this and you have a weak soldering iron, just, just be prepared to spend some time, but it would be better if you had a nice one. Now that said, you can't just leave the heat on this all day because otherwise you could potentially damage the inside of the pickup. Now I know that the temperature of melted wax is not going to harm these pickups. So therefore, as long as I could see that there was wax on the pickup in, inside the pickup, in other words, where the coil would be, then I could be confident that the temperature is not so high. But if that, if that wax were to have melted out and it were just dry in there, then I would have had to really worry. So I tried doing the one pickup. It was hard. I decided that the other one had a slightly longer pickup wire on it. So I would go after that one first. And this one seemed to have had, maybe it's less corrosion. I don't know. I mean, the, this is a 20 year old guitar at this point. So um, this one was much more cooperative and I was able to get it off. But again, the theme is that you just got to have a hot soldering iron. I spent some time actually filing down the tip because in the course of doing this, it gets 
corrosion or oxidation or whatever that is on there. Just have to keep working at it. Yeah, there I go. I soldered the braid to it and couldn't get it off again. Tried rubbing some flux around the outside. And I was thinking that maybe what that would do is if I could melt any of the solder off of there, it would flow away. And I got lucky and I was able to get that off. Now you can see the wax that's in there. You can just scrape it off of your finger at this point. But, and the pickup cover works perfectly, fits on there now. I will note that this, these covers that I got don't exactly match the curvature of the guitar. That's just, it is what it is. I may sand them down a little bit later. Actually, well, when you get to the end of the video, you see, I may just end up reversing this. So then I went after the second pickup and this one was just a beast. It just took a long time. Just have to have some, some patience with it. All in all, this, this process, this video that you can see that was speeded up, the video started at 70 minutes long, seven zero. And so I think this is at 1000% speed, 10 times speed. So it was quite a process to get this done. Of course, I'm using a towel to cover things. When you're using a soldering iron, also be, be careful to use eye protection. It is super important. You, last thing you want to do is injure your eye. Just working at it. And you can see that the wax is melting off of the pickups and onto that, onto that cloth that I put there. Again, it's a good idea to just cover the guitar, make it, make it as uh, protected as you can make it. By the way, this is one of, boy, is this five Wildcats that I've owned? Let me see if I can count. I have turquoise, black. Those are both from 2001. I had an orange one from 2006. I didn't like it. It didn't have the metal bikini badge. It also had much worse wiring. I also have an alley cat that is from, I think, also 2006. And... It's a, it's a, also has kind of muddy pickups, but boy, it has a lot of sustain. And then I also had one, I think it was 2014. It was a red one. It was the first year they came out with the red ones. And I fell in love with it, bought it, quickly sold it within a year or two. But all right, I was able to get this pickup cover off. And then just as fate would have it, I try to put this pickup cover on. And for whatever reason, it doesn't fit. And here's the reason why. It's because it's a bridge pickup cover. So the pitch of the pull pieces at the neck is slightly, slightly, the pitch is smaller. It's narrower, whatever you want to say, at the bridge, I'm sorry, at the neck than it is at the bridge because the strings are closer together. So I said, all right, forget it. I've got the wrong pickup cover. I'm just, for my sound comparison, I don't need to use the bridge. I was only, or, or the neck, I was only planning on using the, the bridge pickup. So I decided I would lightly tack this back onto the metal pickup cover and just put it back. Turns out that my hole was stripped. Uh, so I, I had to go, well, I guess first off it fell off of the cover. So I tacked it on just a little bit better than before. I, I didn't want to go through the whole nightmare of pulling it off again. Went and grabbed a couple of toothpicks and stuck them in there. Easy trick. Some people use glue with it. I don't think it's necessary. The pickups them, or the the toothpicks themselves are add enough thickness that you don't need to do glue or anything like that. Put it back together, and then if you are careful and you don't mess up the strings, then everything should go right back. Now I didn't want to change the strings at the same time because I wanted the pickup or I wanted the comparison to be true, so that the only difference was just the cover, and that's it.